Hello, my name is Johnny. Today we're going to look at some terrain pieces I made for 172 scale diorama and wargaming. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. I've got a bunch of it laid out here on the table. That's the plastic tote. All of this stacked into there <clears throat> carefully. Got uh, a couple of German tanks out, a captured Sherman tank, and then a Tiger tank with a crew, and then a couple of soldiers, and some pieces. A lot of these are made of just cardboard. Some are made of, uh, like, craft paper. Some are made with plastic or a combination thereof. And some were even uh, some bases that I had, and I tried to uh, fix up plastic and so forth. Different ideas here. Let's take a look at a few things. <clears throat> this one I kind of like. This is a plastic piece. And then I've got it so it's like a little, uh, you know, it's a little elevation. Let's get one of these guys out of there to see the scale of what it would be. So not that tall, but a little something. Hide behind. Got uh, all the different terrain dust and stuff added to it, and then a lot of foliage, leaves, and so forth. Rocks. Here's one that's made out of cardboard. I'll put together, and I've got the sphagnum moss on there. Somebody could be hiding in there. Like that. Some of the other type you cut off foliage like that. Very cool. Edges made of cardboard. So you'd arrange these. These are just haphazard right now, but you'd arrange it along with other trees and other pieces. And instead of going directly on the, the painted wood, I have... Uh, terrain sheets that have a similar type of uh, finish to them so they blend in a little bit more. This one's kind of cool. Just a little uh, tiny little hillock. It's got some tufts on there. Tufts are expensive to buy. And that one's sort of like a explosion crater or a large foxhole or dugout folks to be in nice little tree attached this was another plastic form the one i just did a little circular one sort of like a mini diorama base have the fellow in here. You could have it like this one has the stuff attached to the base. Leaf, leaf type. Here's one of the smaller pieces made out of just folded paper. There's a little bit of a undulating terrain. Where's uh, this one? This one's kind of cool. Right here, I did uh, one that's sort of got like a, a little swamp, a little water feature, a little little tiny pond, if you will, to look wet and water. Up there on a bit of an incline. You can see that there. It's very nice. This one I even used a little bit of plastic. I know it's shiny, but I kind of like the look of it for leaves and put some paint on there. So that would be uh, water, impassable. And then it's uh, got different edges to it. Got a little cutouts that could, someone could be hiding there. There's this other one. This one's sort of like, a, looks like this from the front. And then you could, that could have, you know, match up to something like that. You can mix and match like that, or you could have it open like this, where it's sort of like a, 
an opening for an underground cave or somebody lurking in there. A little bit of the purple on uh, that foliage. i show you this cardboard with trees. This gets a little bent. All it was was uh, cardboard. <laughs> so you have to rebend it because it does that with some different style uh, trees. Very nice forested area. Looks very cool. This one, I tried out this other material to make a dried out fields or something, a dried out swamp type. A lot of that material takes a lot to try to glue that in. So that would be good for like a fall area or something like that. Neat looking material. It's another one where they can go inside of it. Probably that's too tall, should be cut down. But trying out things over different periods. And let's see, here's a, a larger mat. This one was done on uh, some cardboard. So this is some just some basic terrain, rough terrain with plants. Put them right in there. Blends in. And then, I, like I said, I have a lot of taller trees. I have lots of all types of terrain. I had just barely started to uh, dig some of it out <coughs> to show them. And I will uh, set it up on a larger thing. This is a, a 4x4 board. And it's right next to another 4x4 board. So it could have a total of a eight by four. Here's a little elevation. Made a cardboard and paper. Just a little bit of greenery. Tank can handle that. After a while, these almost start to blend in. Where is he? Very cool. Take a look at some of the other ones. This was done on more of a square piece. This one was a higher one. This was a piece of foam. And then over time, the, the rubber type cement gave away and the moss came off. So it doesn't look as good. This was really neat stuff, but it was expensive. I think it was by Woodland Scenics type of branch. I've got that on a little hillock. Another little base there with different things, a little swampy looking. Another hill. Another just a area with the hedges or bushes, you'd say. This. This one was a neat one. I did a kind of a different shape to it. Let's see if we can pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. There it is, but it's got a little elevation and like a little pass through it for uh, the figures. Very nice. I seem to misplace the other soldier <laughs> for the moment where he went to. Find him afterwards. So you get the idea, you can spread these out among like trees and so forth and have little avenues for them in. Yeah, you're gonna have to hunt him down. The other one, the soldier, I lost him. Oh, there he is, way over there. Here we go, all righty. I need to be able to find a form where I can make longer videos. That's from what I'm doing. So I'm going to have to cut this one short now. Till next time. 
more World War II, 172 scale. Lots more models built, kit reviews, and then uh, going to show a lot more terrain, uh, tons of buildings they've done, and so forth. Until next time, thanks for watching, everyone.